All right, guys, welcome to the company. I appreciate you all for showing up on time today. Unfortunately, it looks like there's one person that's late today. Um, not the greatest news for that person. Lucky you're all here. Uh, so I look forward to hearing all your presentations today. Hope you're all ready, hope you're not nervous. Hope you put on deodorant this morning, because I don't want to your spill your armpits. All right, so shall we begin? All right. All right, guys, can you uh, please define what a vascular graft is for me? Surgically implanted device should repair or replace blood vessel. Systemic vascular grafts are used to patch up damaged areas and arteries or replace whole segments, constructing the tubular shape and usually by polymers of the classes polysaccharides, polypeptides, and polynucleotides. As many as 12 million Americans over 50 suffer from peripheral artery disease caused by buildup of plaque in a wall. Over 10,000 of my company's vascular grafts have been implanted worldwide. This compares favorably to the average one year patencies for autologous vein grafts, 81%, and EPTFE synthetic grafts, 66%, in the same application. The FDA process generally takes five plus years and costs company 100 to 200 million dollars. Current limitations are growth potential and diameter size. Current limitations of biomaterials using vascular grafts are thrombosis and restenosis. What the fuck? You gonna show up late to a presentation? Okay, this is corporate business big guy. Get out of here. You know there's no point in you presenting today. Alright, fine, take your seat. Don't be late again next time. So what are some companies that have this device available? I'm David, and my company is the Atrium Company. And we're here to present our device, which is the Flexine Vascular Composite Graft. And if I can have you guys direct your um, your eyes to the PowerPoint right here, and we'll explain it. This is the Atrium Flexine Vascular Composite Graph. The graph we created is built from a biomaterial film lamination process using polytetrafluoroethylene. And we use this to, to create three layers. The usage of this graph is for arterial vascular reconstruction segmental bypass and arterial venous vascular access. The pros of this composite graph is improved surgical handling, minimizes weeping, and this graph also allows for immediate cannulation. Our graph has been approved by the FDA and is said to be the next generation composite graph. My name is Andrew and, and I'm here to represent Cryolife Incorporated. We offer various kinds of vascular grafts with our special Cinegraph technologies. If you look at our presentation, here are some advantages to choosing our company. Cryolife Incorporated. Cryolife is the first biomedical company in the world to distribute low temperature preservation of implantable human tissues for cardiac or vascular reconstruction. Studies have shown that cryopreservation of vascular grafts maintains its function. Here at Cryolife, we use our unique Cinegraph technology. The Cinegraph decellular decellularization process reduces the cells and antigens from the tissue implants, which provides a collagen matrix that is capable of repopulating itself with the patient's own cells. The grafts that Cryolife make are also allographic tissues that are infection resistant compliant and behave as if it were an autologous tissue. This helps incorporate the tissue into the body without harmful effects. Cryolite produces many different types of vascular grass that can be used to replace veins in different parts of the body. This technology can help reduce the risk for HLA class 1 and class 2 alloantibodies 
and we've recently received FDA approval for our new Cinegraph process pulmonary human heart valves as of May 2008. Just give me a second. Hi, my name is Zan Bukhari and I'm here on behalf of the Gore Medical Corporation. We specialize in propotent vascular grafts. Please focus your attention to the PowerPoint to see why we're the best one out there. I'm here to speak on the Palpatine vascular graft designed by my company Gore Medical. The intended range of these grafts is for polymers. Gore Propotin grafts are intended for use as vascular prosthesis for replacement of diseased vessels for patients with occlusive or aneurysmal diseases. The predominant biomaterial in these grafts is expanded polytetrafluoroethylene, or EPTFE in short. It's known to have excellent handling properties and flexibility. So biocompatibility issues that must be addressed are claudication, ischemia, and these two terms mean pain induced by lack of blood flow and a decrease in blood supply to a bodily organ respectively. In addition, poor patency rates when used in small diameter sizes or low flow locations can cause trouble. This device has been FDA approved. Thank you. I'm Jim. I'm going to explain about the Artigraft company. The main product of this company is collagen vascular graft. I'm gonna explain more in detail by using PowerPoint. The company name is Artigraft. This company, the first vascular graft approved by FDA. Its biomaterial is collagen and its biocompatibility is 100% biological collagen matrix. The advantages of this product is long-term patency, 30 years of continuous clinical use with proven advantages, no other material, natural or synthetic, naturally projectile and compliant, easy to assess is similar to native fistula. Surgically versatility handles and feels like native vessel, minimal or no suture line bleeding, superior tensile strength permits longitudinal expansion without weakening the graft, minimize the fistula needle site, bleeding liquid, thereby restoring homostasis, and these advantages of this product should not be used in venous or low pressure systems. The last. This product used distal to the aorta as AV shorten and a segmental arterial replacement, arterial patch, and bypass. Hi, my name is Edgar Peña, and I apologize for my tardiness, but you know what they say, good things come to those who wait. And let me tell you, we have a very good thing with our new product, the CarboFlow Impra Vascular Graft from Bart PV. If you can just take a look at the PowerPoint, uh, we can talk more about it. So why is Impra CarboFlow the best choice for you? Because our graft doesn't get clogged as easily as the others. We address the issue of plated adhesion by lining our EPTFE graft with carbon. Research shows that carbon-lined vascular grafts are associated with only one-sixth of the platelet deposition compared to PTFE grafts without the carbon lining. What this means for your customers is less maintenance and fewer medical bills. What is the latest cutting-edge research for academic labs? I want to emphasize that our company keeps up with cutting-edge research, and we're willing to change for what works. In fact, we've considered an approach that decreases platelet adhesion by promoting a layer of endothelial cells to form over the graft. Researchers at Gutenberg University have found that they can increase the endothelial cell adhesion by applying wet chemical techniques on the graft's inner surface. This is just one idea. 
Another idea we've considered is using a different material to make our graphs. Researchers at the Institute of Clinical Physiology in Italy observed superior patency rates by replacing EPTFE with polyether urethane polydimethyl siloxane. We are willing to research and evolve, so buy Impra Carboflow. At Fujita Health University's Department of Surgery in Japan, researchers investigated the tissue engineered vascular graphs of the EPTFE biomaterial. Professor Gary Bolin of the Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond is currently studying the use of the biomaterial polydioxinone, better known as PDO, in suturing and elastin fibers to increase elasticity and biocompatibility. Top University, their research about a silk-like bimaterial culture and seed with endothelial and smooth muscle exhibit greater tensile strength, linear modulus and resistance to arterial modulus in comparison to control graft. Maximum, Guru pre National University of Japan, their research about silicon and polyurethan components seed with fiber blasts and collagen fiber. Switzerland's University Hospital in Zurich is looking at autologous in vivo tissue engineered grafts inputted in place of pulmonary arteries in labs. This test has shown to increase tissue formation and growth. In Poland's Medical University of Silesia, tissue engineered vascular grafts for urgent hemodialysis axis discusses tissue engineered self assembly. At the Drexel University, they address the synthetic vascular grafts made of polyuridane material. This is known to reduce oxidation and improve affinity to endothelial cells. Also at University of Texas at Arlington, a PhD student concerns himself with the issue of modifying PLLA to enhance endothelialization to increase cell adhesion and proliferation. All right, gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for your presentations today. Uh, and after evaluating and thinking about your presentations, I'd like to make my decision right now. You had an excellent presentation, sir. But you need to work on it a little bit more. It wasn't good enough for me, sorry. You, sir, you almost had it. Just not today, I'm really sorry. Congratulations, sir, I'd like you Really? Yes, sir. I really liked your presentation. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Yes. Now, no unsportsmanlike conduct, please. No, you're making the wrong choice. Flixing sells you strength and durability, but it doesn't address the issues of patency and infection, which are the major issues in vascular graft technology. Artigrafts and Cryolife's products might be biocompatible, but they have poor mechanical properties. And Gorpropatin is more resistant to platelet adhesion, but Carboflow is too. Your best bet is to use tissue engineered blood vessels. They're made from the patient's own cells, so they are completely biocompatible. And they maintain good mechanical properties as well. Sure, it costs time and money to produce, so it hasn't been commercialized yet. But that's the most promising option out there. If you want real results, invest in the technology of the future. That's my advice. <laughs>